is going on dudes, my name is Tazza, welcome, this is some more of my Ron Santo Road to the Show, I know I've posted pretty much only this for the past few days, but I've had a pretty hectic uh, few days of work, and now I have a day off, uh, today and tomorrow, so tomorrow expect a, a nice new episode of Franchise, oh, my Angels Franchise, but for now, another episode of my Ron Santo Road to the Show, and we are at City Field facing the Mets here. And this is something like Ron Santo's third, maybe fourth start as a uh, an actual Chicago Cup. So obviously a very, very exciting time. Carlos Villanueva going to be making the start for the Cubs today. He's two for two on the season so far with a 2.94 ERA. And Familia with eight starts as well. He is four for four, but with a 3.14, I believe that said, ERA. But that is not important. Ron is back up at the plate now or not back up the plate, he's at the plate for the first time this game, one home run this season, five RBIs, a 2.63 average as of 2014, nearly get hit by that slider going inside, two on, and one out for him. Anyway, kind of this episode I wanted to go over what I've said in the past couple of videos because I didn't get too many replies or as many as I'd have liked. Um, obviously I've mentioned I got up to 500 subscribers now, that has already been established, I don't really need to go over that. But what I do want to cover is the idea for a special of my 500 subscriber special, should I say. Anyway, Ron will go ahead and load the bases there. The runner from second isn't going to risk going home, even though the throw is off to the catcher. And that will load the bases. Ron being able to load the bases is kind of a cool thing. Maybe he could be part of a Grand Slam for the first time, who knows. But there is a 3-2 count for the next batter up. I didn't catch who it was. But I had to edit it out because this was like an 18 minute game I'm not even joking it's ridiculously long so I've actually had to edit this one down but back to the wall goes that ball that will bounce off and become a ground rule double so I'd have rather have stayed in the stadium so Ron would have been able to round the bases and more than likely go home but that is a 2-0 Chicago lead here with Soriano up at the plate two outs for him and I have to make sure he can get back in time but he does actually get caught there coming off the bag so that will end the inning anyway after I've just said a lot of words in, in very quick succession, I will now go back and say yes. Yeah, so I want some ideas from you guys for a 500 subscribers sp uh, special. Some people have come up with the idea of maybe doing like a, a home run derby on the show with subscribers, but I want to be able to make sure that I can um, get as many people in and not everyone's going to have the show, not everyone's going to have a PS3, this, that and the other, not everyone's going to be on at the same time. So that might be a bit awkward, but it's a good idea regardless. Um, someone said I should do something like a head-to-head -head against Dunbar Snapbar, live comment or something, I don't know. So that's always an option, or I can do some real life stuff, or I can go ahead and do a rivalry video. Whatever you guys want to see, I would like some suggestions, I really need your guys' help. But other than that, you know, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover, because it is something important to do a 500 subscribers, especially I think it's good to have kind of a, a request kind of thing, you know, make it feel, because obviously we're all part of this, we're all dudes kind of thing, and that's... Another thing that needs mentioned in another video, but anyway, yeah. Um, you know, it's just kind of really cool to have uh, to have us all as one big happy family, all agreeing on things, and you know, we can uh, we're all happy with the selection, that kind of thing. That's kind of what I want. So yeah, if we can organise something like that, a nice cool family subscriber special, I reckon that'd be all right. So uh, yeah, go ahead and leave your suggestions. Also, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. My Twitter name is at Tezadu. That one gets drilled to centre field. Back to the wall it goes. On the warning track, a catch is made. And no home run for on there. Though it didn't look like it was going to get a home run, but it still went pretty damn far. <laughs> anyway, also make sure that you guys keep your eyes and ears peeled because I'm going to be going ahead and doing a second half of the season uh, predictions video. No, it's kind of after the All Star game a little bit now. Uh, but that is by the by. I'm going to be doing kind of a predictions video, what we're expecting for the playoffs. And that is going to be with uh, MVP Sports Gaming. And we're not sure if we're going to be live streaming it or whether it'll just be pre-recorded. We're not too sure yet. So, um, you know, you can, all, you can all keep your eyes out for that. And I can't remember when we said we was going to go ahead and plan and do it. I'm trying to think of the date now because we actually had it written down. Um, I wish I could remember. I have got it written down. In fact, if we go ahead and look here on back through the conversation that we had, we didn't actually decide on a date. No, I'm just rumbling. This is so, so unprofessional. Uh, anyway, I actually can't find it. Um, 
what we've just said but anyway I think that's will probably be around next Monday as of as in like just a week today so yeah sorry for that little blip of not talking I was looking through stuff to try and find it <laughs> anyway yeah so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be doing a predictions video with him and another chap who I just read through the thing and I couldn't find his name either. I'm also going to try and get Dunbar Snapbar involved and if any of you guys want to go ahead and leave a suggestion for a baseball commentator or a sports commentator in general who has an interest in baseball, if you go ahead and leave his name or her name, not being sexist obviously, in the comments or at me on Twitter then I will go ahead and I will invite them to it as well. I kind of want to get as many people in this. We've got a varied excuse me, varied amount of opinions and various inputs uh, to the conversation. I think that'd be kind of cool. So this video is going to go ahead anyway with a minimum of three people. There's more than likely going to be more. And then again, like I say, if you guys want to go ahead and add your two cents or what commentator you think would be good to join us in this discussion, please go ahead and leave it in the comments on Twitter because that'll be cool. And it'll be the first kind of um, video like that that I will be or I will have done on my channel. But I think it'll still be cool to show, you know, it's something I've not able to uh, been able to do before. Uh, but, you know, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Anyway, as we look here, it is only the bottom of the fourth and the Cubs have an 11 to nothing lead here over the Mets. An absolute battering at City Field here. And every time that Ron seems to play, there is always a lower kind of lineup, a lower scale lineup. You know, there's a lot less people in. It's kind of the lower end of the pitching rotation, no disrespect to Carlos Villanueva. I actually quite like him as a pitcher, uh, though he started off the season a little bit better. He's dropped off a little bit. I'm not sure a lot of people might disagree as well, though, because he's been quite on and off. But he's a good pitcher, nevertheless. But Ron always seems to kind of be with this, the lower end of the lineups. Yeah, you can tend to see that. So it's quite impressive that even with this lower end of the lineup, you know, Navarro is the catcher, that kind of thing, that we've been able to go ahead and you know absolutely destroy the Mets in the way that we have because it is now a 12 to nothing lead top of the fifth one out a runner is already on first this is exactly what I was referring to about just destroying them even with you know not the strongest Cubs lineup that you could possibly have but that four seamer just got into the strike zone and that is what you expect to see out of a pitcher you can really just, just hit the edges really get the lines and what have you Ron not able to do anything with that there. Castro getting back to first. Loop that one into right centre. Not able to get a decent base hit on that one. But the Cubs go ahead and they tack on even more runs. They will go and make the score 15 to nothing. And it's only the bottom of the fifth. How the Mets haven't given up yet, I don't know. Because I will just give up and go home. That bunt attempt is going to fall short. The throw over to first will be in time to get the out there. No pressure really on Ron there to do anything more than catch the ball. Another defensive play here, David Wright, a man who was obviously involved in the home run derby. Obviously a New York Mets big hero. This is the bottom of the 6-2-0 count for Wright. He will bounce out to second. Double play, not just in time there. Wright able to hustle over to first. That will only be a single play, and that's one of the things that made the game really long is that the fact that we weren't able to complete the defensive plays. So we were really good offensively, but defensively the Cubs were kind of lacking today to get the innings shut down quick as possible. But top of the seventh, two outs here. 1-0 count, that four-seamer outside of the zone. It is still 15 to nothing, Cubs. And yeah, another big moment. That one going to go straight down the middle. Ron with another base hit this game getting them stats up even more the more he works away the more he's going to be able to ask for more playing time and the quicker he's going to be able to become a starter so that gets him on first this is where I was kind of considering uh, doing some more editing because kind of the long on base things you know, that is one of the biggest problems with this game anyway that throw not in time and not able to get his first major league steal I was hoping it would actually pop up on the screen, but I guess they don't get credited for first Major League <laughs> stolen base. Uh, but never mind, that doesn't really worry me too much. I'm not that bothered, because I know you know, it's a big milestone anyway. And especially one thing I noticed when I've been pinch hitting, if I kind of got on base and I went ahead and tried to steal, um, it's so much harder. Obviously, that's obviously going to be harder anyway. But it's a lot harder than AAA or AA anyway. But Sherholtz will go ahead there and get it to left field. 
nothing will come of that in him. Another defensive play, a lot of defensive plays this game, but nevertheless it's always good for Ron's experience points. It is a good and easy way of getting experience points. You don't get as many, obviously, as you would batted, but he's not able to get hold of that ball. That will get past him, and then I couldn't seem to get him to go to first base that they could throw it over in time. That was really annoying. That's one thing I don't like playing about first base. One thing I'm not used to it, and two, it seems to. The control seems to be a bit different, but I'm not really sure why, but never mind. Anyway, the <laughs> the Mets have actually managed to claw five runs back here, but it's kind of in vain. There's another two runs have been tacked on by the Cubs, top of the ninth here. Already one out for Ron, so not expecting too much out of him. He's done okay for the day. And once again, this pitcher getting the corners. This is a new pitcher, but he's still getting the corners, and that is so impressive and exactly what you want to see because it puts anyone off swinging. But it will go ahead and swing on that one. That will get past the shortstop and third baseman. Run is on base for the third time this game, so even another string to his bow to get his Cubs uh, third base starter. But there is a lot of people to replace in that position. Still one out here. Ron got his way to second, but he's not able to go ahead and steal first. Uh, steal third, and that is Ron out to end pretty much the inning. Once again, another defensive play. You can imagine how long this game actually was with the amount of defensive plays. I literally did nearly every defensive play in this game. It was so long. On a side note, are any of you watching Breaking Bad? I know the new Season 5's Part 2 has just started. It's really annoying because I don't have the channel in my country to go ahead and watch it, so I'm going to have to either watch it online or wait for it to go on Netflix. But if any of you are watching it, I hope you're all enjoying it. Please don't spoil anything for me if you're able to watch it. You all, you Americans who are so lucky to have a MC or whatever the channel's called. I'm so jealous because I really want to watch Breaking Bad. <laughs> Anyway, the Cubs go ahead and get the win there. That is a pretty much plain sailing win. Absolutely destroying the Mets here at City Field. If you like this video, folks, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't, don't worry. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And as always, I love you all dudes. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.